Let's talk about the draft, Peter Schrader, because that's what we really want to focus on first. Let's go back to the year 2000, and let's go through it all. The top pick in the draft was Courtney Brown out of Penn State, defensive end, going to the Browns. But there were a lot of all-pro players in that draft. Look at this. You had Tom Brady, who went 199 to New England. Tom Brady was a late draft pick? Yes, he was. Oh, I thought he was the no. first rounder. Brian Erlacher went to the Bears. Shane Leckler, one of the greatest punters ever mm -hmm. in Oakland. Also some notables, Jamal Lewis and John Abraham. Chad Pennington in that draft as well. Let's look at the top five from the year 2000. Courtney Brown went well. Here's interesting. The Redskins had the two and three pick. Imagine that. And they went LeVar Arrington, Chris Samuels. Both had very good careers. Never got the Redskins a Lombardi trophy. But they were a playoff team a few times with those guys. Peter Warwick, number four. And Jamal Lewis, number five. And, of course, we mentioned the Brady. The Brady six. Let's look at this. That Giovanni. Draft class, legendary. Chad Pennington, Giovanni Carmazzi. Can I tell you something, Peter? What do you got? I'm sorry. I'm not making this up. When we were down in the Caymans, me and Sean, Chris Redman was there he on was. the beach with oh, his family. Awesome. He was also with his son. Yes, he was yeah. also in the Caymans. We saw him. He's that's huge. True. A lot of overthrows. Yes. Chris Redman, no, here's the Brady Six. We remember <laughs> these guys. All these guys were taken before Tom Brady. But Interesting year in the NFL, Super Bowl 34, that old Rams-Titans, and we're thinking that Kevin Dyson, one yard short. Who made the tackle, Peter? Mike Jones. Mike, Mike Jones. Jones. And this is we're seeing Kurt Warner, who set a record for passing yards in the Super Bowl, hitting Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. And uh, I, what I, you remember is the last drive. It wasn't the greatest Super Bowl ever played, but it was the most exciting finish, maybe up until this year. And I just think the late Steve McNair making an incredible heroic drive down the field for the Titans. Of course, we're showing Kurt and the Rams because they went on to win it. Dick Vermeil, hands in the air. We won it. One yard short. Great, great final to the Super Bowl. But how did the Titans get there? What was their playoff path? How did they ah, end up at a Super Bowl? Is that about music? One of the least favorite people in all of the city of Buffalo is Frank Wycheck. Ah. Because Frank Wycheck gets the ball from Lorenzo Neal. Neal and says, Wait Over the second. line, marker Where's zero. <laughs> Buffalo is up against the screen now Love with their compass that. and their straight edge saying, No, it wasn't a lateral. Well, it was a lateral. They you see a little kid running on the sideline. Right, Jeff Fisher's son, Brandon. And is running the whole the way. That's him. There he is, Jeff down. Fisher's son, Brandon, the Music City Miracle, as it's known. And then, guys, we also had an interesting time in the NBA because it was dynasty time. It was the Shaq Kobe Lakers. We had the 2000 finals with them against the Pacers of Reggie Miller, the Duncan Dutchman. So we had Kobe. We had Shaq. I asked the table, who were the other three starters for the Lakers in that finals? Who do you got? Get out. Got Devin George. Devin George, no. Not true. Not Derek Devin. Harper? Derek? Derek Harper, no. In Derek, fact, Derek Ron Christian? Harper was Ron running Harper. the points. Who was the small forward and the power forward on the 2000? Rick Lakers? Fox? Rick Fox, no. Anybody know it? Anybody at the table? AC Green? Yes. Who else? Glenn Rice? Glenn Rice! Kay Glenn Adams Rice. out of left field! Ooh. Look at her! Unbelievable. <laughs> Right. So well, rush up, son. Kay Adams just dunked on you guys, and it, obviously the Lakers. It was went guys on that could make free throws. That's yeah, exactly hack -a -shack right. Len Rice, huh? Len Rice, AC Green. That's it. I'll be here in sports. Let's hit the people with some pop culture, shouldn't we? Yes, heroes? please. Let's do it. Uh, pop a leg all right. Is hot. So I'm looking at what happened in the year 2000. So okay, curb your enthusiasm. Started a Great fantastic show. show. Dun, dun, the dun, peach dun. pit. <laughs> Went away. We bit a do. See you later. In 90210, that was gone. Uh, I want to talk Peach couples here quickly. What do you got? In 2000, Brad Pitt and Aniston were married. They got married that year. Here they are. Oh, they yeah, look so in cool. love. Yeah. Angelina Jolie, Billy Bob Thornton, also married that year. They were so that lovely couple. A little yeah. foreshadowing. You know. I see what you're doing. But to me, <laughs> I think that the year 2000 in pop culture can be summed up in three scantily clad images okay. that you sort of think Love of. Love scantily clad. Uh, yeah, American Beauty swept everything. Easy. Spacey wins Best Actor, yeah. Best Film, all of that. Scantily clad Mina Subari, right? Mm -hmm. She's that image of the, with the rose petals. That's one. Mm -hmm. Number two, Grammys. J-Lo's dress. You oh, also, your yeah. head yeah. automatically There it there. is with Puffy. There we go. Oh. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Define gravity. Three, Number three is... No, I got some double-sided tape on my microphone. Oh, all different. right, Sean. Any we guesses saw the picture of you. on the third scantily clad image of 2000? Uh, uh, Kim Oops, K? Oops, I did it again with huge. We'll get to uh, music. Was it Cisco? Kim K wasn't really around. Richard right. Hatch! Oh, yes. oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't he show was, that. We don't yeah. eat. Hanging brain. He was not wearing clothes. He was pulling a Jay Cutler, if you will, back wow. in 2000. So that, I believe, is the pop culture summation yeah. I, I, of 2000.